Hello, working on the F-150 FX4 off-road, it's a 2002 Ford, and I'm just changing brake shoes, I think I'd kind of let you see how it's going, I'm using a 10 millimeter socket, put on there's a screw here and a screw here, sometimes they're pretty tight, sometimes they're not, I'll see if I can talk you through it, I already did the other side, I just wanted to get thinking maybe someone might be interested to see how you do this, I've only done it a few times on this particular model. Let's we'll see if we can get this down pretty quick before it kicks out on me. Anyways, my son said it was grinding. I'm sure these rotors are probably need to be replaced. I'm not going to worry about that right now. He needs his truck to go to work and, and uh, I need to do other things. I have brakes to uh, do on another old car. Old vehicle, actually, it's a 72. This one here is not that old, but they can get old. And my flame on here, so just pop that loose. Make note of where the, where the teeth are on these. That can be kind of a pain in the butt. And because these are old and bad, I'm just going to pop this. i do this safer without turning something out. They're going to be gone. There's one. See, it's in close to the rivets. I'm not going to let you focus. Yeah, you can kind of see the rivets there. Here's the other. And there's a detent springs in here that kind of hold all in there. And that's that. That's the other one. You can kind of see the rivets starting to come through on here. See your little rivets here. I'm not going to focus. Anyways, so let me do this real quick here. I got to compress this. I have a Harbor Freight. I hate to use Harbor Freight stuff, but for as little as I do brakes, I didn't want to spend the money on the whole big set. This kit here, it comes with different adapters. I just kind of found one I like to press on this. So I can get in there. Got a, sorry. I don't usually do YouTube videos, so I can get this put in here. I don't know, there's guys that got their easier ways. I mean, I can do a C-clamp and do this. I'm just going to do it this way. There's a ranch over here behind me. Okay. And so you got to compress this piston here if you want to be able to get the new shoes on the disc. You want to make note of how much uh, oil you got in your mattress on because sometimes if you overfill because of the wear and tear and the travel you've already had in the piston could have problems up there. I'm going to straighten this out so the piston doesn't go in there crooked. You can't really see what I'm seeing here. Okay, that's better. I just want to make sure that's... Anyways, I'll get compressed and we'll see. Before and after difference, if you want. Get my new shoes out of the way. Keep dropping this. Anyways, it could be a little slow going. Kind of compress that. I'm not a brake guy. I just try to do my own stuff whenever I can. And this isn't that hard of a fix to do. If all goes well, you could have issues where the wheels rusted onto the the disc, the hell, I've had that happen before. Uh, drum brakes can be a pain in the butt, but you can't hardly get everything apart. But these, uh, these toys here are pretty easy. Here's a newer one. Alright, so I got that. That's the tool. Take a look at. They got different different dies here. Alright, so now I've got the press here. Get your new shoe. Your detent there will go inside the piston here. Get that out of there. That's what keeps it from dragging on your shoes. There, let me get a rag here. Sample 
why it's like kitchen towel, but it's a shop rag. Anyways, uh, put that on there. So then I cooked it on there a little bit. The new one on the back here. Actually. Get your, you got these little wings here, you gotta, sometimes you gotta them in just a hair to get the start. I don't know if I'm getting them all in the shot. Anyways, you get started a little bit, sometimes you tap down like that. Until you see it in there. That should be good. Oh, I got everything in here. No gap, nothing loose. You got this piece here and this piece here. You're gonna have to push that in when time comes, which the time is now on this. That piece, the, the teeth, they're actually on the bottom side on this one. Anyways, see yeah, how I had to drop that in? And that's it. That's a, all you gotta do. You got my two pins here. You can see here, I just put, you're not really. Shouldn't put ANCs on a lot of this stuff, break stuff, but I do a little. I like a lot of ANCs. Who knows how long it'll be before this gets taken off again. And it's not going to be all over the brakes. I only put them on the threads and just you know, enough just to do the job. Because that's a small little socket. And it's only 10 millimeter. Now I've seen these things. C's in there. Okay. That's pretty much it. You tighten it down. There's really not a whole lot more you got to worry about on this. Sometimes they have a lube you can add to the brake shoe to kind of make sure it doesn't squeak or chatter or do any weird things. I've never had a problem with Ford. But, uh, you don't have to bleed them. As long as you don't break the line open, you, you don't have to bleed them. The only time you have to bleed them is whenever you got air in them or you lost fluid out of it, which I've not on this. So. Anyways, I hope maybe this might help someone out there that's doing brakes or thinking about doing brakes. And from here on, it's just putting on the wheels. Anyways, thanks. Thanks for, uh, you, I don't care if you click like or subscribe. I'm just doing it just to share the information. Thank you.